And welcome back to The Long Run, where we are playing ukulele. We're currently in Moody Maze Marsh. And uh, got a pretty good chunk out of it. Um, we're probably not going to spend a whole lot more time here today. Um, well, we're going to look around a little bit more and uh, see what else we can find. We found a few areas that, uh, or at least a couple of, at least one, anyway. At least one thing that we cannot do yet. Whoa, geez. Anything down there? I don't think there is. Anything all the way over there? It's like, no. Hmm. Now, I'm not seeing anything at the moment. Well, let's uh, let's go look around. Keep looking and see if uh, anything interesting does show up. Ow. I wonder if it's like every so many enemies um will drop a uh dang will drop a uh butterfly. Okay, and that's just uh, this again. Oh, there's some quills over there. It's a pretty good indication of a place we have not been to yet. Anything over there? Looks like no. Uh, that's the, there we go. All right, let's go check out this pipe. Hell, capital B is goon stuck me behind this awful platforming course. You'll need to be quick to beat his timed lock. And yeah, I heard that, but uh, that could at this point actually be the quills because I think we're at uh, more than 170 collected. Oh, geez. Well, we messed that one up. How do we get out of here? No, really, how do we get out of here? Well, I'll tell you one way to get out of here. 
Bye bye. Ow. <sighs> Out of energy, though. There we go. There we go. We have plenty of time. Like, we, we were doing actually pretty good on time there. So, Paige and KG released. I don't think there's anything else around here. Well, that was just dumb. Let's see. At this Yeah, at this point, I'm a bit at a loss as to where to go next. There's a pipe there, actually. I wonder if I were to do this. This is purely decorative. Got it. This is a pretty good vantage point, though. Hmm. Oh, I see the uh I see the energy extension over there. Now how do I get to it? Yep, there we go.
Oh, geez. <sighs> this is extremely precarious, and I don't think this is how I meant to do this. Is this good enough? Yeah, it is. So that's all of the special items in this uh in this stage. Have we been down there? No, I see I see some quills over there. I mean that kind of hurt. Oh. Uh, what if I were to do this? Yeah, there we go. Pagey, pagey in a not exactly cagey. Burn. Burn for your sins. So what does that bring us up to? 18 out of 25, 179 quills. Still missing one ghost rider. And you know what, actually, I think for the time being, I'm going to call it good for this stage. We're not done with the stage yet, and we're not done with this uh, session yet, but I'm going to call it good for this stage for now. We're we're gonna get some power ups later that's gonna make navigating these a hell of a lot easier. Now we just have to find our way out of here. No, that's not the uh, the pipe that I was thinking it was. It's also not the pipe that I was thinking it was. So one of these pipes leads back to the start. Wait. This doesn't look familiar. KG and a KG. Release. Hey, look at that. Did actually manage to get one more uh pagey. Oops.
Oh, so this is meant to basically be one way. I guess. Ow. Can you please go away? Because I opened this up and then it closed again. So I'm guessing that this is pretty much it's open for as long as I'm here. And then when I leave, it's just going to be closed again, which is unfortunate. Oh, that one's stuck in the ground again. Or maybe there's just two of them? Okay, so this is one. And what's this one? Yeah, there's two of them. It's not it's not that it's one way. It's that there's actually two of them. This this takes us back to that thorn maze and I'm hearing something. And it's probably just a quill, but Where there is a quill, there could be a pagey. Yeah, sure enough. Didn't see any quills, though. I don't think. Hmm. Can we go in here? Kg in a kg. What's this gonna do? Yeah, release. And now we have 14 seconds. And we're gonna run out of time, aren't we? Yep, just as we got there, of course. Game, why you do that? I am hearing some quills. Yep, there we go. Not hearing any more of them though. All right, let's go back to that pool of water. Uh, sing down. There we go. It's it does get a little bit annoying, but at the same time, at least you at least it gives me an idea of where, like around where to look. And it's honestly more annoying not being able to find the source of that. 
Anyway, Pagey and Akeji. Despite the uh the the failed trompet there released. Right. So I also wanted to see, because I don't think we've been in here. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> Failed successfully. Ag and a kg. All right. Oh dear. There. Oh, we had plenty of time to do that. AG and KG release. And there we go. This wouldn't be a proper uh, Coolio series. If um, if I didn't say, like, I think I'm going to leave now and then find seven other things to do. Yeah, we're up to 22 pages. But now for real, I honestly don't think that we're going to get really many more than that, if any. So now I am actually leaving. All right. Pay attention, Dr. Quack's quick fire quiz is coming. Okay, here we are back in Ivory Towers. Oh, okay. Up here. Oh, geez. Dang. Okay. All right, and uh, so here we go. Surely we're not going to run into any evil henchmen that are going to stand in our way with a bunch of questions about the game that we need to have been paying attention in order to, ah, crap. Welcome back to the Quackfire Quiz. We're about to witness a multiple choice massacre. Oh no, not this again. I haven't been paying attention to anything. As usual, there are ten questions that need answering correctly, and only three lives. <laughs> now step forward and prepare for an exam extermination. I 
Extra Stinky Arcade. How many playable game units does it house? Uh, we saw it, and I think there are four. Incorrect! How did you even get this far? Really? Okay, well. Pages, legal property of Hyvary Towers. How many do you have in total? Really? Uh, 79. Wrong! I bet your pop whiz team is the worst. Oh, we're not doing very good. The ridiculous fishbowl freak Dr. Puzz. What is her second transformation? Ah, uh, now this one I know. It's a snowplow. Ah, why did I make these multiple choice? Double curses. A super quick correct answer. That's a two-pointer. The terrifying bottle dispenser, Vendi. How many tall tonics does she wield? Oh dear. Uh, 16? Because I know it's an even number. Fiddlesticks. How did you get that one? Leonard Glaze Gl Glacier's useless snowmen. How many are there? Uh, five. Huh. <laughs> Bring on the next question. All well, two more correct answers. Well, two more quick correct answers. Those bogus butterfly boosters. How many have you stolen so far? Uh, three, I believe. Meh, even a daft looking lizard is right once a day. And we've been right four times in a row. We've only been wrong twice. How long has it taken you to get this far? Um. Dang. Nope, I'd let you ask the audience if we had one. Well. Oh, what a shame. You appear to have run out of lives. Unlucky. Better luck next time. Now back to the start, dummies. Didn't even, like, dunk me or anything. Uh, what's a pup quiz? Uh, basically, and I, I've actually had the pleasure of hosting a few of these uh, here in Halifax, but, um... It is a quiz that happens in a, a bar, pub, restaurant. It happens a few different uh, places um, where people kind of group up in teams. Uh, a question is asked and uh, you're given a certain amount of time to answer them. And everyone kind of uh, hands, in, hands in their answers uh, kind of in private to the host. And then at the end of each round, all the answers are uh, revealed and uh, uh, you, you get points. And whoever gets the most points usually wins some sort of prize related to the location they're in. Um, I have, I've played a couple. I have hosted a few. And they're pretty fun. They don't involve stupid trivia like... How many how many of these things that you um that you've actually that you actually have on hand? For your sake, I hope you studied a bit longer this time. Mooney Mazes Marsh's rusty trolleys. Which one wears a stupid hat? Oh jeez. Ollie? You're not very good at this, are you? Razor's Mushroom Shelter. What color is it? Red. No. Come on, did you even pay attention before now? I kind of want to throw this one at this point. The picture. Where was it taken? I honestly don't even know. 
four of these answers on the internet, by the way. And yeah. Back to start. Back to exactly where we are. Those bogus butterfly boosters. Uh, you've already answered this question, you dumb putt. The character? Who is it? Oh, that's, uh, Flanker. The sign. Huh, bring on the next question. The terrifying bottle dispenser, Vendi. Why are you asking the same question? I guess you only have so many questions that you can that you can ask. The Ivory Towers hub. How many pages have you illegally stolen from it? Uh, five. Nope. Denims. Oh, well, that one too tough. The Mooney Maze Marsh trolley with a stupid hat. What business does he own? Uh, farmer's market. Ah, hope you're not looking at your cell phone. I am looking at my cell phone. It has my macro deck on it. Mooney Maze Marsh's rusty trolleys. Which one wears a stupid hat? Um, Wally? There we go. Fiddlesticks. Had to get that one. When? Huh? Yep, yeah, that was good enough. There we go. Last! You mean my final quiz? Thank goodness. Now we can enjoy the next rules without counting all the co without counting all the collectibles. I'll have my revenge. In this game, or the next. <laughs> okay, now that that's over with. So now where are we? Looks like maybe we're at or back outside. Hmm. You know what? That's a good point. Why? So five is over here. We probably can't get to it, but let's see how far we can get. Health and safety insisted I couldn't drop all of the boss minions in the lobby with you. Killjoys. <coughs> Watch it, Yuka. Near here is more toxic than your old shorts. Rude. <coughs> Let's get some protection. Yep. Definitely can't make it through there. Well, just destroyed everything there, sure. Anyway, um, the world four.
And there's Trouser, so let's see what Trouser can give us for free. I tried kicking this this thing here out of force of habit playing Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Where I can just kick things for coins. Welcome! I see you've made it to my special branch. Lovely views here, eh? I hope you don't charge extra for them. You're getting close to missing to your missing book, but you won't quite clinch it without my next free of charge maneuver. This next move will allow you to master the art of stealth, like that time I snuck into Capital B's shed and helped myself to his garden tools. To perform Camo Clock, simply hold left trigger and press B. Thanks, Trouser. I'll give it a go. Excellent. Remember everything I've taught you, and you're sure to succeed. Well. And that's what Camo Cloak does. Unfortunately, it also kind of tears through your energy pretty quickly. Well, this is uh, looking themed. Oh, all right. Looks like that opens that up, which is where our tome is located. I'm going to go ahead and open this up, but we're not going to be doing um, Capital Cashino here today. And there's still a few things to check out now that we have a bunch of new abilities. Don't forget, you can expand this world once you've found 11 pages. I'll think about a pamphlet. Not sure Yuka's quite up for the harder challenges in this expanded world. Lately, be in a butt, as usual. There we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and expand this. Yeah, it's a bit weird why they made the uh the quizzes so early in this game. I wonder if there's anything we can do with this. Probably not. It's probably just decorative. It's got those right there. Perfectly fine. Well, let's see what we can see over here. Can you guys get a move on? I have golf plan with another corporate henchman. Looks like we can't just smack that guy.
Ow. Aha. Well, here's a page that we can get. Nice and easy. Hey, time to get some grub. Now oh, that is some long reach. For years, they've told me a book-absorbing corporate layer wasn't in demand. Now look at it. Yeah, it sure is, uh, something. So how do I get out of here? Well, that's probably one way out of here. Yeah, that's going back to world one, looks like. Let's go take a look at the uh, the first two worlds real quick. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time in either one, but uh, I know a couple of places we can go. I just have to figure out where they are. And I think, yeah, we can always select return to hub if we uh, want to rush back. I've just been taking the proper exit because good measure, really. And yeah, that's Shovel Knight. Let's back to start. Let me tell you one thing, all of this getting turned around everywhere and getting lost is definitely giving me some vibes for a game that I should probably play again in, yes, in the near future.
Well, don't know how near, really, because I have a lot of things that I need to play. So if I'm not mistaken, one of the things that I wanted to go to is over here. I think. Yeah, there we go. Ow. Dang. Oh, that's back to start. These are this is basically a maze of twisty passages. All like Oh, all right. Uh, can I? Come on, it's right there. Uh, is it over here? Yeah, there we go. We're going to have to wait for our energy to refill here. You're dead. Uh, that's not what I needed to do. There we go. I don't know if I'll need more of them, but uh, may as well refill here. Yeah, we'll need one more. Ow. No. Can I like this fire? No. <laughs> okay, so I don't necessarily need to be stealthed to destroy these guys. I will need that bomb again. We've reached that point, guys. That point where there are just too many buttons. Dang.
Wait, what's what's up here? Interesting. That's some weird aim yet you got there, friend. There we go. So I imagine, yeah, that's going to give us a better path to get this. Now, how do I... I can't spit the bombs that far. Huh. Any more shenanigans I need to be aware about here? Yeah, that, like, only makes it, like, two-thirds of the way. So what am I missing? Is something up here? Oh. All right, I was missing the obvious thing. Of course I was. Boom. Not sure if I can get that other one though. Yeah, I got it. Watch me need that bomb again though. Oh, nope. There it is. Nothing is obvious until it's found. That's one way to look at it, Tyrion. That's probably the optimistic way to look at it. Uh, that was the big thing that I had in mind for this. Uh, what is... How am I totals looking for here? Okay, so we are at whistle level for uh, quills now. But uh, I am going to go back to Glitter Glaze Glacier at this point. At this juncture. I think I can get to by going back into the book. God dang it. Also, hey, nothing more exciting than hearing popping and unexpected lights from a corner in the next door's roof. Hmm. Yeah, that, uh, that sounds a bit dismay. Oh, wait a second. I hear that. Where is it?
uh, as one of my as one of my instructors from college would say, "Oh, I love muffler." Well, now I'm not hearing it anymore. It is super close, but I can't. Maybe it's on top of that. Dang. Yeah, there we go. There. As I told my neighbors that they, they may have a short circuit on the roof and maybe they should disconnect whatever they have there before they have an electrical fire on their hands. Yeesh. Yeah, that's uh definitely enough to make anyone nervous. It kind of reminds me of um, this one town that I lived in, a uh, small, well, relatively small place. But um, when it was raining hard enough, um, the power line, like, across the road from me actually started sparking up real bad. Um, so yeah, I, I ended up, um, reporting that to the power company. And they did indeed go to fix it a few days later. There's at least one pagey, maybe two, that I want to get here. Now. And actually, the first one should be accessible through here. I appreciate the fireworks, but maybe you should fix that before I have to remove the works from the last sentence. Yikes. Let's see. 
Didn't I bring you your hat? Yeah, it looks like we have to do the hats all over again after leaving here. Oh well. Hey, remember this puzzle, guys? Remember how I was looking at this? And it makes this pattern. And I was wondering, well, hey, how do I interact with these? Well, I don't know. Maybe I can just resonate with them with uh, Laylee. Pagey in a cagey. Release. <laughs> There's a thing I really appreciate of this game is the random eyes possessing things. And there's one other thing that I know I want to do. Hey, Trouser, how's it going? Uh, all right. I know approximately what I'm looking for. I just don't remember where it is. I think there is some more honey over here. I have to think of it, doesn't this go to like... Yeah, that goes to um, to the palace. There we go. That's what I want to. That's where I want to go. I found it. That's why I came here, you see, to get a better vantage point to figure out where it is I want to get to. So this is one that we did have to come back for. Uh, and it's not here. Is it that one? Yes. There we go. Unfortunately, that is the, the hungry ghost rider, so we need to bring something to feed it. Let's see. Oh! Mm. I love how the eyes are apparently poisonous to the touch. And by love, I mean loathe.
No, there is nothing here. There is this. I'm wondering if this is good enough. Yep, I'll do it. An explosion of flavor, literally. All right, trouser is there. means there's also a ghostwriter here. Now let's see if we have the supplies we need to actually get that guy. And we need either water or fire that we can eat, I think, might also do it. I think that's where we were getting hung up last time, trying to figure this out. And so where do we get those. There's some fire over there. Oh, there's a, there's a fire here too. I don't know if this is sufficient. It is. There we go. Hey buddy, you could have just hit this the entire time and escaped. But I think I'm gonna call it good for that right now. I mean he's getting little bits and pieces of things. Um I keep saying it, but there there's going to be a much easier way to deal with navigating things um, later on in the game. For now, though, we've already done enough of Moody Maze Marsh for today. So let's head back over Oh, okay. Unless we can find a way up this. That would probably require honey. Uh, 
But is there honey nearby? I'm increasing my full game guidance to massive defeat for you chumps. Now. And it doesn't seem to be anything here at all. All right. That last minion I poached from another evil corporation. I cannot tell you how much I've how much you've saved me in wages. That should take us to the area where World 3 is. Yes, indeed. Oh, wait. No, this is the hub. Never mind. This is, uh, yeah, this is the first world. Okay. Which I think we can actually get to world three plays from here capital b is nowhere near gruntilla and charm but to be fair that's hard yeah gruntilla is an interesting character Although even her sisters all get uh, a little tired of her rhyming scheme. Okay. So I just need to do a little bit of looking around here. There we go. Four and five over here. Come on. There we go. And it shows also maybe because it made writing her harder. Yeah, that's absolutely what it was. Like, there is no doubt in my mind they decided to drop the rhyming thing because of how hard it made uh, writing grunty. See if we can get a butterfly from someone there, yeah. Ow. Well, let's get out of here while the getting's good. Escape into this tome, quick.
I forget which uh which drive I have this installed to. Well welcome to the Capital Cashino. Welcome to the wonderful expanded Capital Cashino. Please enjoy our fraudulent and fantastic new games. A little pachinko thing there. Looks like lots of neat things going on going on around here. More pachinko. And of course Lady harassing Yuka because why wouldn't they? So, looking so far, 67 out of 145 pages, 557 out of uh, 10, 10 quills. That's over half of them. Um, half of the health extensions and the uh, energy extensions. 60% uh, of retro uh, play coins and uh, molecules good portion of the uh, Ghost Riders, but we've only got the Ghost Rider pagey for the first world so far. Anyway, there are 145 uh, in total in the game. Uh, I did manage to get all of them in my uh, first playthrough, but uh, it's going to be a bit early calling this one to a close, but I'm going to go ahead and do just that, honestly. So, uh, let's see. Let's Before I completely call this to a close, are we raiding someone? We are not. So I'm going to just be leaving you to your own devices. So thank you, Jewel and Tyrion, for being here. The next scheduled stream is not going to be tomorrow. Even if I wanted to stream tomorrow, there's going to be some work happening in my apartment. It's not going to be amenable for streaming, so no co-creator stream still. So the next stream that I had in mind is going to be on uh, Thursday, uh, probably around 10 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time, so starting an hour later than I usually do. Usually Zero would be streaming on Thursdays, but he is not going to be streaming this week. So I'm going to take that slot and do some more practice for Super Smash TV. Uh, I maybe have the tournament, but that doesn't mean that I shouldn't be practicing for next year, right? Uh, the next scheduled stream is going to be on Saturday at 9 p.m. Uh, Atlantic Daylight Time it is going to be the extra long run where we're going to uh, do some cleanup in uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Uh, next stream after that going to be the Sunday Super Shuffle, Sunday at 7.30 p.m. or later. Atlantic Daylight Time, more archipelago shenanigans. And that brings us round the week, round the wheel, to our next uh, regular long run stream where we're going to do some more of ukulele and looking into the Capital Casino. So that is going to do it for today. I want to thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.